Greetings and welcome to Flavorful Eats. Um, today I have Devendra Naidu helping me to make um, our topic today is watermelon or fruit. He is going to be making a beautiful basket and uh, while I do um, a salad, a drink and a... Um, <laughs> we, we're just working on three things. Um, so uh, off to Devendra. Okay, to start off, the, to shape up a basket, uh, you need a couple of tools, uh, a good knife, and maybe one large one to actually do the initial cutting, and then a small one to do any minor designs and things like that. Uh, to start off, what I did here is I put some toothpicks around to um, try to, you know, just give us a level playing field as we're cutting, uh, and it acts more as a guide. So what I'm going to start off doing is starting off with marking up the handle of the basket. So you use a very sharp knife. It's a yeah. really nice family activity. So um, be careful, though, with uh, sharp knives as you, you can cut yourself. And uh, it's, uh, the watermelon is a very nutritious fruit. It has almost every nutrient you can think about. It has very high in lycopene, as you can see the color, high in uh, vitamins. It actually has proteins as well. Um, and uh, while he is trying to get his uh, basket on the way, I would try and I, I will be making the salad. The salad starts off with about um, about half a watermelon. The good thing is you can use the, the cuttings from the watermelon when it's done. So you, uh, you um, cut the cube, the uh, watermelon, and you put it into the big dish. To that, I added, um, I'm going to be adding half a um, English cucumber and uh, two, two stalks of celery. Mix them together. And as you can see, the, the half the handle is more or less uh, being shown on that watermelon as well. It's a little bit, uh, I, I made a seasoning of lime juice, um, mint, pepper, and salt. And I put that on this uh, salad. And to add a little bit of protein, I'm going to be adding some feta cheese to this. You stir them all together, and voila, you have your salad. And the colors just pop with green and white and red. And the proof in the pudding is when you're eating it. So we get back to the watermelon. OK, so I managed to get the handle sorted out all right. So now what I'm going to do is uh, to give it the bas basket effect, I'm going to scoop the watermelon out using one of these. This is called, uh, this we're using the measuring spoon today, but generally we use a melon baller. But um, seeing that it's uh, we're doing this for everyday family. We thought we'll use uh, a tool that is uh, what, available in almost everyone's home. Um, so it's very simple to, uh, you'd notice that he's uh, getting his hand into it, is doing a little twist, and, and that's how he is getting uh, the ball out of the, the melon. And um, so th th it, uh, he, he will, um, continue uh, going on with the scooping of the, um, the basket. And um, I will get onto my next uh, dish, which is actually fruit kebabs, which is very simple to do once again. Got it started out here. All this could be done with all the cut uh, pieces from the watermelon basket, or you could uh, add more fruit to it as well, like I've done here. I've um, cubed the fruit, so it makes it easy. I used a six inch kebab uh, skewer. This is what the kebab skewer looks like. And to that, I'm gonna be adding um, 
my fruit that I've already cut up. I first add uh, kiwi fruit, then I'm adding some pineapple, then I'm adding some watermelon, nice big black grape, and a green grape. And that's all it is, dude, and that's the kebab, which I'm sure the children would love to pick up and eat. Lots of people have problems having children eat fruit, so these are little ideas to get your children to eat fruit. So he's now using a knife to uh, scoop out more. It's quite a simple um, way of getting things out. While I do the next uh, kebab. Again, kiwi fruit, pineapple, watermelon. As you know, you could put any fruit. You don't have to have this order or any such thing. I did it slightly different right now. Kiwi fruits are very, very healthy. All of these have very high in fiber. They um, um, just nice. Uh, watermelon is nice, very thirst quenching. Live uh, together with all the nice nutrients that it has, like I said before, and um, it plays many roles. Keeps you full for a longer time. So those are trying to lose weight. It's a good way of helping. It's almost done out there too. Pineapple has a, um, the, a uh, enzyme called bromelain, which is supposed to be it was very, very good for you as well. Cannot sing the praises of fruit enough. They're just, just great. Here's another dish over. You okay? Yeah, you're fine. All working out well? Yeah. What, this is a very great snack. Uh, all of these are very great snack options. Um, the um, watermelon is good to uh, help prevent or help with the um, brain function as it has protein. It um, has several vitamins, antioxidants, helps fight, uh, helps to uh, fight several diseases like heart problems and cancer. Okay, so now I've got the basket uh, scooped out. So I'm going to do a little bit of work on the handle. If you look at inside, it's all scooped out and ready for the um, next phase. So I, I'm going to use some of this to make a drink as well. He's marking out uh, little um, V-shaped things with a knife. Again, there's a tool to make this work well, but he prefers to use a knife. Be careful that the rind doesn't get into, um, into the f uh, basket. But even the rind is edible. The watermelon, the whole fruit is edible. I 
I forgot to mention that the uh, watermelon is a great source of potassium as well. That's what helps with the blood pressure. All right, just before we get started with the um, uh, decoration, one more tip I have. To cut up a uh, kiwi fruit, you first take a knife, cut the one edge, remove the edge, leave it aside, take the other one, take that out, and then with the help of a spoon, you go in, And you peel the, the kiwi fruit. And voila, you have the kiwi fruit on one side and the peel on the other. And now it's ready for decoration. Another useful tip. We go back to the decorating the uh, fruit basket. We fill it up with all uh, different kinds of fruit. We have a variety of fruit out here that we may use today. Some pineapple, some watermelon, some grapes. Okay. I'm going to need toothpicks. You need toothpicks? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using these balls to fill it up with these balls that I scooped out. While the focus is on him and he's, he, he's trying to decorate the, um, the handles with some uh, lovely hearts, I can give you more information on the health value of the watermelon. Um, like I said, it's a, it, it's a leader in lycopene it's, it's red, red, because of its red variety. It is a diuretic and was a homeopath it was a homeopathic treatment for kidney patients before dialysis became w widespread. Watermelon is a good source of potassium. It helps muscle and nerve function. It can ease inflammation and contributes to conditions like asthma, acid, diabetes, colon cancer, and arthritis. Watermelon is a certified health food by the American Heart Association. I am so happy to know all the benefits of this uh, lovely um, summer fruit, watermelon. It's a, as I said earlier on, it's an excellent source of vitamin C, vitamin A, a good source of potassium and magnesium, small amounts of most of the B vitamins, trace amounts of vitamin K, and um, lots of trace amounts of mineral like copper, iron, manganese, selen selenium, and zinc. Um, and it has a lot of fiber, so hence it's a good um, diet food, and it keeps you full for a very, very long time. So as you can see, this um, is just trying to decorate that a little bit more. So while he's decorating that, I will use the pieces of that to make a drink. The drink is, um, I have about three cups of uh, watermelon pieces from there, a cup and a half of um, water, some lime juice, what I forgot to mention is that a watermelon is a very, very a good alkaline food. And here I'm adding a little bit of a sweetener called agave. Just a little bit. And I'm going to make a little bit of a noise. Oops. He's putting some uh, beautiful um, oranges and pineapples inside to add color. We could actually put more fruit so that it comes up a little bit.
grapes. You want to use some? We try to use as much organic fruit as possible, um, especially like things like uh, strawberries. You notice I made some chocolate-covered strawberries. It's about the most simplest thing one can make. You take, a, uh, for a pound of strawberries, you take about eight ounces of chocolate. You melt it with about uh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil or butter. I used butter. And um, to, uh, to make these ones, you first dip it into a white chocolate, and then you uh, remove it off the white chocolate. For eight ounces of um, brown chocolate, we use just four ounces of white chocolate. And, um, um, and, and the, after dipping it, it becomes um, just decorated a little bit of um, piping on, on the uh, chocolate. So I get back to my drink and just switch it on. To this, I add some mint as well. Drink is ready. Could add some ice. I'll touch this thing. I'm going to put some final touches in. There you go, our fruit basket all ready and nice, ready to serve. Thank you. That's our fruit basket. We're all ready to serve. As you can see, it is so simple to do a spread of uh, all these lovely uh, creative stuff. You just need to use a little bit of your creativity, a little bit of imagination, and simple tools. We didn't bring any tools that were um, fancy. It was just a knife, a, a cutting board, and some um, simple um, containers. And as you can see, I'm cutting out this watermelon. Uh, all I do, did is slice it on the top and just do that, and it's all, all done, and it's clean. It's so simple to cut a watermelon too. This is just the little corner from the um, water basket that we put together. Anything for you? Your little um, experience in the uh, cutting out this uh, basket. Oh, I, I this is your second try, right? Yeah. We had this for Mother's Day, and uh, uh, people out here thought it was a good idea to do it on the show. So right. And uh, I just, uh, st I, I started to actually enjoy doing this and really it doesn't take a lot of uh, skills to do this. You just uh, try whatever you, you, you know, you're comfortable with. 
Uh, all I advocate is just be careful of the knives. Uh, you can quite easily hurt yourself, so be just be careful. Anything from anyone else? This is my mother, this is Nancy, Padmaja, and uh, Sumana. They were all our guests for today. Yeah, it just looks so colorful mm. and it's so healthy. So, mm. I think mean, that's it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Very good watermelon <laughs> treat. <laughs> yes, what screams summer more than watermelon, watermelon right? Nice. Watermelon is the. Uh, yes, yeah. it is watermelon, watermelon, and watermelon. Right, and again, in the beginning, I didn't quite let you know that we did a watermelon basket. We did some fruit kebabs, which the children would love putting together and would enjoy picking one by one. We made a, a watermelon salad with some uh, mint and feta cheese and cucumber and celery. Mm -hmm. And we did a um, watermelon drink with just mint and uh, a tiny bit of lime juice. And, uh, and that's about it, and some water and watermelon. And then yeah, on the side, we did some chocolate strawberries back home, which I said was very easy to do by melting some chocolate and dipping the strawberries into it. It's quite simple to make and very interesting. And um, whatever fruit was left from our little makings, we did a little platter here, a platter there, just to make use of the cut up fruit. And I'm, I think it's pleasing to the eye, and hopefully children will enjoy it as much as adults would. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in another flavorful week. Bye.